Researchers have revealed a bizarre star they say could be surrounded by a huge alien megastructure. KIC 8462852, located 1,480 light years away, was monitored by the Kepler Space Telescope for more than four years, beginning in 2009. Now researchers say they cannot explain strange fluctuations in the light it emits, leading some to claim it could have a huge alien megastructure in front of it. We'd never seen anything like this star, Tabitha Boyahan, a postdoc at Yale, said. It was really weird. We thought it might be bad data or movement on the spacecraft, but everything checked out. Over the duration of the Kepler mission, KIC 8462852 was observed to undergo irregularly shaped aperiodic dips in flux down to below the 20% level, Boyahan and her team at the crowdsource astronomy site Planet Hunters found. There, researchers flagged the star as bizarre as early as 2011. The dip activity can last for between 5 and 80 days, they said. The team also looked at possible explanations, such as faulty data or a recent collision. In this paper, we describe various scenarios to explain the mysterious event in the Kepler light curve, most of which have problems explaining the data in hand, they said. By considering the observational constraints on dust clumps orbiting a normal main sequence star, we conclude that the scenario most consistent with the data in hand is the passage of a family of exocomet fragments, all of which are associated with a single previous breakup event. However, some experts say the real cause could be something far more exciting. Aliens should always be the very last hypothesis you consider, Penn State astronomer Jason Wright said, but this looked like something you would expect an alien civilization to build. Wright and his co-authors say the unusual star's light pattern is consistent with a swarm of megastructures, perhaps stellar light collectors, technology designed to catch energy from a star. Wright is now working with the SETI Institute in Berkeley and Boyahan to develop a proposal to point a large radio telescope, either the NRAO's Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia or the Parkes Observatory Scope in Australia, at the star and listen for a hum of alien technology. The idea behind our research is that if an entire galaxy had been colonized by an advanced spacefaring civilization, the energy produced by that civilization's technologies would be detectable in mid-infrared wavelengths. Whether an advanced spacefaring civilization uses the large amounts of energy from its galaxy stars to power computers, spaceflight, communication, or something else that we just can't imagine, Fundamental thermal dynamics tells us that this energy must be radiated away as heat in the mid-infrared wavelengths, Wright said.